What's up, Shady Crew? Back at it again with another reaction video. And hey, man, it's your boy, Hiatus James, man. We are back again, man, continuing with this um, Up Church and Screwface John uh, diss. Right, I think what we are on round four right now. Um, but after Up Church's last track um, that he dropped in regards to this diss track, um, there was information on social media that Screw wasn't going to drop another diss, but then decided that he was. There was some trolling that was going on with his brother, so we got family brought into it. Man, look, I told you guys, man, this was getting crazy. Told you, man, it's, it's to a point where these two, they're like oil and water. They don't mix. Their fans don't mix. Like, it's crazy how out of hand this has gotten so fast. Um, but anyways, man, we're going to stay true to this, man. Take a look at um, what True is bringing in this track. Um, Up Church, the last track, definitely was dope, man. Um, and so far, it's been kind of a theme, man. They've been switching. Every time someone drops something, the other one kind of throws it back on the other. Like, it's been a, a back and forth, back and forth um, type deal. Now, the... Um, now, what I will say is, um, it looks like Screw learned a little bit from the first time that they went head to head. So, um, like I said, he was trying to get ahead of, you know, the social media. Um, and I actually thought that, you know, he wasn't going to respond. But, uh, it looks like he is, man. And we're going to get into it, man. We're going to check it out, see what bars he's dropping in this one, uh, see what he's hitting on. Hopefully, this doesn't get too personal um, because he posted on his vid that he got a call from someone and anytime you start bringing in third party information, it can go, it can escalate like overnight. Like that's like lighting a match in a wooden house and just seeing if it catches something like, <sighs> I don't know, man. Like, I, I don't want to hear that um you know there was something that broke out between screw and up church physically but it's kind of turning into that man like it is clear that these two do not like each other period um and regardless of whether they say whatever it, it's obvious bro like the intention intensity from the track the digging up of the information bro like going at each other's neck uh discrediting uh people's billboard chart like it's a whole bunch of stuff that's coming out um and back and forth um saying that uh screw had beginner lines every time he steps up to the like it like these are personal ego shots that they've been taking at each other now i have enjoyed uh the the banter back and forth um but like i said hopefully um, this will be the final to everything and we can move on. Um, I do think that um, he has, um, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Grizzy Hendrix, and I mentioned this uh, on a previous on a previous video, that Grizzy Hendrix and him are supposed to be doing a, uh, I guess, a rap battle. Now, of course, that's a little more friendly. Um, they're not dissing, but it's more so they're going for the whole best YouTube rapper title, so uh, we definitely have to check that out and see uh, what Grizzy put out there, because I'm late on getting on his. Because of all of this, and because I stayed up to four in the morning, and uh, <laughs> putting out like three tracks, it just kind of threw everything off for me. But regardless, we are back, um, so there are definitely other vids that we're going to get out as well. But we're gonna get into this, man. Let's check out this track, see what he's, he's spitting in this, see where it goes, and uh, yeah, man. Um, if you're new to the channel, please wait to the end of the video. That's typically when I give my reaction, but the way that these diss tracks have been going, I've had to stop because some of the stuff they've been saying has been off the wall. But let's get into it, man. Okay, first off, why do we have an up church with the puppet? And is that Articix, Mile High, and Simba TV? 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Now is this because he called out Mumfu and hit Brainiac? <laughs> Oh man, we definitely got tip for tap, man. Um, that's crazy. Don't go at the reactors, man. Look, the reactors do what reactors do. They react, man. But I get it. I get it. Sometimes there are some biases there, but dang, you put them on the artwork? That's tough. <laughs> you hate to see it. <laughs> um, listen. I put one more round in the chamber, and that's it. Buddy got an obsession with me, and that's it. I'll give you one more. How's this? <laughs> Thanks! Okay, we got the Eminem vibe. Um, wonder how they go try flipping it. Look, look, listen, class. I like to introduce Ryan. Please don't fight him. He just wants everyone to like him. You brought my fame into it, so now you're gonna die, baby. You look inbred, dickhead. Now you get slime shade. Number one. Mm, okay, so he's shouting out the fact that uh, the trolling that uh, Upchurch did on his brother. So now he's like, I gotta give you the flip, I gotta give you the heat. Ugh, man. See? I knew this was going to get personal, man. I knew it was going to get personal. You can hear it in his voice, man, that he is definitely not, not, not happy at all. Like, this is, this is him trying to embarrass some, like, he's really going at him in this one. So, I'm pretty sure he's liable to say anything in this track. But let's get it. Um, wonder how they go try flipping it. Look, look, listen, class. I like to introduce Ryan. Please don't fight him. He just wants everyone to like him. You brought my fame into it, so now you're gonna die, baby. You look inbred, dickhead. Now you get slime shade. Number one. Can I please get a receptionist, please? I think this country singer them got an obsession with me. I know we cry to deep inside, he's just a hell of a dweeb and actually rapping like he's still in the development league. Stupid bitch, you just mad that I roasted you, country toasted you. There's so much fucking hoe in you, this time I almost ghosted you. The first time your bias didn't work, so you got emotional. You falling off, it's so fun watching the walls close on you. Even your own fans was telling me I was smoking you. Church, you gon' get him next verse, bitch, they was coaching you. Niggas was roasting you, cause you ain't do what you supposed to do. And then I got a call from somebody who was close to you. They was exposing you, oh no, we don't really know this dude. So let me give your ass a few lessons how you supposed to move Don't start rapping, fail, then be a gimmick Turn to a comedian, switch your image, then get to singing Be insecure and start tripping, start moaning, whining, and bitching Every time someone's a critic and say that they didn't fill him in Don't mm, okay Alright Wait, what? <laughs> so you got a call from someone Who gave you the inside Who said that this man started out in music Failed, switched to comedy, came back, started singing, like what? Oh my gosh, this is crazy. See, that's why you don't get third parties involved, man. Because now that person gonna have to answer for these uh these words and hopefully you reciting exactly what they said, but that's crazy, man. And then the line where he's talking about because he actually said this in their first rap battle where he was talking about um the the kid that said that he didn't like um, up church music and how he only had like a small amount of um, subs. So he's going back to that and saying how like anytime someone doesn't like up church music, um, you know he comes at them. But here's the here's the kicker. When 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 uh, Screw first said that he didn't like up church music. There was no diss to him at first. Like he even got on and said how he respected church because he was he people were upset with what he said and he was like, nah, y'all just taking it wrong. Like <laughs> But I get what he's I get what he's saying, I get where he's coming from. 
Um, but that situation was a little bit different, man. The person was actually really disrespectful in the way that they came about. Like saying that you don't like someone's music is one thing. Um, but saying that they're garbage, trash, they're like that, that's personal. So yes, a person does have the position to respond. That's my take on it though. Like I got to respond. Like if you're going to say I'm trash, then you got to tell me why you got to hear my mouth. That's all I'm going to say, but let's get it. Don't start rapping, fail, then be a gimmick Turn to a comedian, switch your image, then get to singing Be insecure and start tripping, start moaning, whining, and bitching Every time someone's a critic and say that they didn't feel him in Don't do fucked up business, cause that's gonna cost you And start fighting me, cause you tired of fighting lawsuits Ooh. I know that haunts you, but homie, you know that I want you Fans try to swarm, it ain't work, cause I disarmed you Bitch, what you want another mill off me? Like I ain't monetized mine, bitch, I'm still gonna eat But real talk, I got a question, keep it real on me How the fuck you dropped the beat? You still off beat like goddamn how whack can you actually be? Bruises whole body, yeah. Now he blacker than me. <laughs> Bruises whole body, now he blacker than me. Okay, so he flipped the whole I sound blacker than you. Okay, alright, I can mess with it. But yo, who got on the phone and said that this man got lawsuits out there? Oh my god, see? I knew it. I knew it. I knew we was going to end up with a situation like the Drake situation where somebody says you got an illegitimate child out there that you're not taking care of. Like, I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. Oh, man. Like I said, man, you hate to see it. <laughs> All's fair in rap battles, I guess. Let's get it. Keep it real on me. Fuck you dropped the beat and you still off beat like goddamn How whack can you actually be? Bruise his whole body, yeah, now he blacker than me A dope rapper, he's more blacker You keep acting these things cause I think you scared of the rhyme that you actually be Finally, no booty talk, but the L's I give you Cause you couldn't resist talking about male nipples Ryan like the brainwashing ain't gonna work in this match Fuck that, I'm gonna die, you mean I actually got a rap? Hell yeah, you dumb bitch, cause you done finally met your match And a fan base you can't sway that's been ready for the attack Matter of fact, you say I'm using you to clout to the top But seem to only fucking diss me when an album done dropped Little twat, you already uh -huh. know the things that I'm aware of. Oh, like how you fucking people in your city that you're scared of. I'm here to tell you we don't listen to them silly hoes that try to spam your wins and suck a dick in every mm. video. Like, really, though, you can sway the whoa. world. Whoa, whoa, okay. First off, let's talk about this. <laughs> One, all right, so he said he dropped an album and uh, the, the disc came right after the album because he was trying to clout chase. Oh, uh, no, that could be a reach, man. That could be a reach, but it's a good bar. I mean, it's a good bar. And then he talked about, um, now he's getting into the the reactors that I guess he listed here. Uh, at least these three reactors saying how um, basically they just co-sign. Um, or what he said, the bar about them having like dick sick sucking lips. Like what? Bro. Bro, 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 I thought you and Arctic Kicks were cool. Like, ain't one time y'all were, like, on the phone, especially during the Dax situation, like, Arctic Kicks turned completely against Dax for you. After getting off the phone, at least that's what he said on his video, bro. Like, after getting off the phone, he turned and was like, I'm not doing any more Dax, this, that, and the third because of you. Dang, man. Now now he's a dick sucker, dick rider. That shit is crazy. Alright, man. Let's run it back. Let's get it. Who the clout to the top? But seem to only fucking diss me when an album done drop, little twat. You don't really know the things that I'm aware of. Like how you duck your people in your city that you're scared of. I'm here to tell you we don't listen oh, to them silly hoes that try to... Let me go back. Cause you done finally met your match in a fan base you can't sway that's been ready for the attack Matter of fact, you say I'm using you to clout to the top But seem to only fucking diss me when an album done drop, little twat You don't really know the things that I'm aware of Like how you duck your people in your city that you're scared of I'm here to tell you we don't listen to them silly hoes that try to spam your wins and suck a dick in every video Like really though, you could sway the word of some But they just scared that your fan base would turn on them Sound real loyal, you act like a kid that was real spoiled When mama said no, then your blooded will boil So listen Ryan, no, you ain't as nice as me, dummy, they don't like your 
rap skills that like you cause they think you fun Niggas only pump your shit because it's making them they money Cause your insecure ass need acceptance from everybody And you're not going off when you rap like this Whoever told you that shit was probably cooked in the bridge You said you were supposed to kill me when we opened this shit Four songs later, nope, still growing this shit Let's get proper, the big yap or six shotter They might think you got so I shot your hands in a stigmata Let's get honest, he's self-conscious about his product And that's why he the most insecure one in his genre He may deceive you, he snaking people, they been caught him I may be evil, but maybe here to be his karma You made a sequel to make it equal, that shit cost you Need Shaq the coach cause we in the post and I'm Ben Wallace Didn't know wow. you Goku so he approached you like shit talkers Until I go blue, this super saiyan go shit on him Then I piss on him, I rip on him, then spit on him We ain't seen a guy, this big die since Chris Ooh. Wallace If this conflict whoa, was just Whoa, 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 whoa We ain't seen a guy die since Chris Wallace, what? Like your rap skills that like hold you cause up, they think you niggas only pump your shit because I'm it's messing this all up Let's get honest, he's self-conscious about his product And that's why he the most insecure one in his genre He may deceive you, he's snaking people, they been caught him I may be evil, but maybe here to be his karma You made a sequel to make it equal, that shit cost you Need Shaq the coach cause we in the post and I'm Ben Wallace Didn't know you Goku, so he approached you like shit talkers Until I go blue, this super saiyan go shit on him Then I piss on him, I rip on him, then spit on him We ain't seen a guy this big die since Chris Damn, Wall come on, leave big pun out of it <laughs> Wow, bro Wow, he is really snapping in this one. Okay, um, yeah, you can obviously tell that uh, Screw is very much upset, um, and he's kind of taking his uh, frustration out on everyone. Um, he talked about the choppy flow with Up Church, um, bruh, like. What, bruh? I don't know, man. This is getting crazy, man. This is getting crazy. You hate to see it, man. Let's get into it. He approach you like shit talkers Until I go blue, this super saiyan go shit on him Then I piss on him, I rip on him, then spit on him We ain't seen a guy this big die since Chris Wallace If this conflict is judged on rap Then there's really no way to cap And you actually have to snap And your stats is just that Stats put on a the track They can never save your ass from the fact that you getting smashed So, you good a country, my nigga, keep flipping that Some people will hear your raps and just actually think you're trash And I promise the world ain't over Be a soldier and just relax Cause you'll never actually win until you accept that Respect that and please don't meddle with school with those my mind that you can find something better okay, to do. I, like I know he nervous. I heard this bed he read as a fool. You say you've done a lot of things, but what's that getting for you? Cause if them billboard hits, the fans and the nice whips really ever met shit, you wouldn't Damn. care what I do. You call me Ja Rule, not true. <laughs> no, this might be more like Slime Shady catching a body on white four. He's stressing because his flexing's his only weapon and he feel his grip is slippers. This niggas then got objectively crying in comic sections explaining like we ain't get it. And his cheerleading sections the only ones that protect him. I hope he learned a lesson now he knows the truth. A growing number of people choosing honesty over views in the community is starting to point out his little crew who gon' say that he won before they yeah. click it in view listen dude not everyone is as stupid as you type to think if you scream louder then your fucking point is proved fucking goof what up church having some money problems a loyal fan you robbed the mask for pay and you play possum and threw a hissy fit when he publicly started talking how ironic guess you've been stealing art ever since you started damn damn, damn, damn. look i don't know if you're upset because i don't think you're that good of a rapper but guess what in hip-hop can't bully or force people into thinking that you don't. Those are, those are facts. We judge it by the music, pal. True, true. And yours just isn't my cup of tea. Now clearly you do got fans of your rap music. But the only way you're going to truly turn me into a fan is make a rap song I like. These diss tracks is cute and stuff, but at this point, if you got five songs about one person, I can't bring myself to do that, bro. You're not that important to me. I'm sorry. And I shouldn't be that important to you. But I love you. Keep it up. Thanks. All right, we're going to stop it right there, man. So let's get into this, man. Screwface, John, The Nail. Um, this was definitely um, by far one of the hardest diss tracks that he's dropped. Like, it was the hardest. You could tell the energy was completely different. Um, the, the style was definitely different. I don't know what chord got struck or uh, what, but you could definitely tell that he was going a different route in this. Um, now, it is funny because in the last uh, disc with Up Church where he talked about uh, with the Tom McDonald and saying that he uh, was... He was basically the uh, the clone that Tom McDonald was talking about, and then he comes back and he drops like an Eminem 
uh, or Slime Shady. Like, it's kind of funny that he, it's, it's almost like he said, all right, well, since you say that I'm a clone, then let me give you the clone. <laughs> um, but it was, it was definitely um, a dope track, um, dope diss track. Um, he did what diss tracks do, man. He definitely got in there, got grimy, um, talking about a lot of crazy stuff. He said that um, Up Church got lawsuits out here, man. He done took money from people. Like, I don't know, man. That's crazy. Um, if it's true, then, you know, again, this is the thing about diss tracks. They always expose stuff that you don't really know about the artist and that's what was the issue a lot of the diss tracks that were going back and forth wasn't bringing any new information it was basically what we had already known so you're just basically talking about the same stuff over and over um now i don't know about the lawsuits i don't know if that's true i don't know about the album if he used this for uh cloud i don't think that is true but you know it makes good for song um, but I mean, I can't knock the fact that uh, Screw definitely hit in this track. He definitely came strong, definitely addressed a whole bunch of uh, situations and issues. I did not see him going at the reactors. Like, come on, bro. I've said this uh, before when it comes to Screw. Like, I don't know why he acts as though he's not a reactor. Like, you talking about the reacting uh, community as if you're not also doing reactions. Like, you're a part of the. Oh my gosh. But whatever. <laughs> whatever, man. He felt some type of way, so he got it off his chest. Um, I don't think any one of the ones that he went at are rappers, so I don't think that they can say anything other than what they would say in their reaction videos. But, um, I mean, damn. That's crazy. Um, but at this point, man, it's pretty much a done deal. I mean, even after the Up Church track, it was pretty much a done deal. Um, then... Of course, I was expecting for Screw to respond because of the way that track went. Um, I mean, you had to respond, but at this point, I mean, it's pretty much, we've come to the crossroads of this, and the bottom line is, you don't like him, he don't like you, and that's just how it is. Um, we're just here for the, for the music and the diss, uh, to see them excel on a track see them throw out some stuff that is funny, see them, uh, you know, pick fun. And, but, at, at the, but this is quickly turning into something that could turn violent, that, that can actually turn into an altercation. Like it's getting to that point. When you start bringing people in and you start talking about personal information like lawsuits and them, excuse me, stealing money from people and you're saying that you got a viable source that told you this, Man, that puts a whole nother spin on things because now people looking crazy. Look, it's the same thing that happened with the Dax situation and everybody was looking at Dax crazy. And um, I mean, it's nice to see that Dax is kind of getting back to uh, where everybody is kind of giving him a fair shake again. But like, that's the reason because of, you know, business practices and that information got put out there and it's like, damn. You know, it makes you look at a person differently. But, like, I don't know, man. Um, again, with these, because we don't personally know, we don't know what is what is fact versus fiction. Um, but it makes good for a, a track. It makes good for a diss track when you're putting stuff out there and making people do this to the artist. Like, hmm, could that be true? Like, um, for that that fact, it. but this was by far... Like I said, for them going back and forth, this was definitely dope. Um, and he definitely held his own in this uh, this rap battle than than the first one. And I can tell that um, that he has actually gotten a lot better on his diss than um, in the past diss. It wasn't that he didn't have bars, but they weren't hitting um, as hard as as in this one. Um, so definitely salute to uh, Screw on this um, for him responding. Um, definitely salute to Up Church. Um, hopefully, like I said, this is the end of it all and we can just move on to other stuff that is going on and let this be this. Um, I mean, we're never actually going to get to a point to where 
this is settled. Someone is always gonna feel some type of way. Um, so hopefully that we can move past it because you already know what comes next. What comes next after this is some type of altercation. It is what it is. Like when you start bringing family members into it, when you start bringing uh, friends into it, like now you gotta see me. Um, and that's just what it is. And now we, I don't know about anybody else. I don't want it to come to that. Um, I just like the music. Um, both artists, I definitely enjoy their music. I definitely enjoy their flow styles and the way that they approach music. Um, and of course, this is entertainment. Entertainment. The first time that they had their spout, you could see me on IG reaching out to both of them, thanking them for the bout. This one, on the other hand, is completely different because this one seems a little more personal. Um, so hopefully this just kind of runs its course and it's done with. But those are my thoughts on it, man. Um, definitely was a, a dope diss track. Like I said, he definitely brought the bars in this one. Everybody's going to feel their, their, way, their own way about um, Screw because they already feel a way about Screw. And I get it. Um, everybody has their reservations, but we're just talking about the music. And from a music standpoint, it was a dope track. Um, he definitely had bars in it. He definitely did what you would do in a diss track, which was bring new information to the table. Whether true or, it, or not, he brought new information that we did not know, that we wouldn't even have thought of um, on this track. So um, definitely salute to him for, you know, doing his thing. Um, and then he went from, he, I mean, he flipped the table on, on pretty much majority of what was stated. Um, he did the acapella. He took the shot at saying that um, he was rapping off beat even when he killed the beat. Like, I yeah, I get all of that. But I don't know, man, because I don't know. We'll have to see how this progresses now that you done brought through three, through, three new people into this whole thing. Uh, with Art Kicks, uh, Simba TV, and Mao High, like you have to see how they feel about it being put in in the middle and made to seem as though they're just puppets of Up Church and don't have a thought process of their own. I don't think that that's true. That's not their personality. I didn't really get that from them. Yes, they may enjoy Up Church, and I think Mao High and Simba TV are friends with Church. Um, so, I mean, I guess you could say it would be similar to Hit Brainiac and um, Mom Fu because they're friends of Screws. But, I mean, that's neither here nor there, man. It's entertainment at the end of the day. Hopefully, we can keep it there and it doesn't go any further. But, we'll have to see, man. We already know that the comments are going to be lit and everybody's going to feel their way about who won, who hit harder, who did. Um, at this point... We just we we just need we just need a pin to this because man it's getting out of control man it is really getting out of control um, and that's all I can say man you can definitely see from this point that it's just it's bubbling into something bigger um, and we don't we don't we don't need that <laughs> we don't need that um, let the artists be artists man and uh, let the feelings go where they go but um those are my thoughts on it man definitely thought that it was dope